Alright guys, so this video is going to be all about AG motors, the different setups for AG motors, the different styles and types, and it's mainly going to revolve around picking the right AG motor for your goals with the gun. But first, we got an AK here and an M4, both AGs. The first difference you're going to have between motors is the length. You're gonna have the two main lengths are long and short. So this is a long motor right here. That's commonly gonna go into your M4 platforms. They all take long type motors. And the short type over here, that's gonna be in most of your AK applications. And there is a, a mid length, but not many guns take that. These are your two main types. So that's the first thing you gotta figure out is what length motor you need for your gun. And the second thing you need to figure out is what is your goal with the gun? Do you want it to be an extremely fast trigger response build? Or do you want it to be maybe a dual sector gear build? Or a really high rate of fire build? Or maybe you're pulling really big springs back for a DMR and you want high FPS. So the different ratings for the motors is going to be your RPM rating, which for the Tynley GT 35,000, 35,000 was that number, the RPM. And then the other uh, number is going to be TPA. So TPA basically is, it stands for turns per armature. But without going too deep into it, the higher the TPA number is, Basically, the more torquey the motor is. So, if you order like a 28 TPA motor, it's going to be able to, it's going to have really good trigger response and be able to pull back some good springs. Or if you went with like a 70,000 RPM motor, the TPA is probably not going to be as high. So, but you'll get really good rate of fire, like insane rate of fire with it. So, it's all about like what you want to do with your gun. If you're going for like good trigger response with your gun, then you should probably get like a 28 TPA motor, or if you could find one, a 32 TPA motor. And if you don't care about full auto, those are going to be perfect uh, options for you. But if you want like a middle of the road motor, so you still have decent rate of fire on full auto, but still good trigger response, you could get like a a fifth, like a timely 50,000 GT. So it's still gonna have good torque, but it's gonna have the 50,000 when it comes to full auto rate of fire. For me, personal preference, I'm more of an FPS guy and trigger response. So I don't really, I don't use full auto, so I don't care about rate of fire. So that's why I picked the 32,000 for this gun. And this gun over here, I'm going to be doing a build on this one pretty soon, a full build on it. Um, well, we, huh, we've actually, this used to be a front wired gun and now we, we wired it to the stock back here. We've done a ton of things to this gun. It's like a Frankenstein gun pretty much. None of the parts are original on it. but. It's got like a stock Elite Force motor in it right now, but the motor I'm gonna go with this is I'm going for insane trigger response on this build. It's if I could find a 32 TPA motor, that's what I'm gonna get. But I'm leaning towards the 28 TPA ASG motor because those are high quality and 28 TPA. That's gonna be crazy quick torque, which equals crazy quick trigger response and uh, I'm not going to be pulling back crazy springs but even if I was that motor would be fine for doing it I'm going to try to dial in this gun for 400 FPS with crazy good trigger response but yeah that's pretty much it when you're trying to pick out a motor the main thing is you want to get your length your length right for your gun otherwise obviously it's never going to work 
and then just think what you want this gun to do what's your goals for the AG and then pick your uh, either like a high TPA motor or a middle of the road motor like I had to put in this AK or if you're going for you're one of those crazy rate of fire guys go with like a 70,000 RPM motor and you'll get crazy trigger response or not create crazy rate of fire out of it so that's pretty much it when you're picking a motor we're gonna be doing more AG video series especially when I do the build on this gun so stay tuned for that and I'm gonna be doing a few little things left to this this AK too but like I think I'm gonna be doing some uh, compression stuff with like with the cylinder the piston stuff like that so but I'm really happy with this gun so far. I'll continue to let you guys know if I have any more issues with it or if I break any parts with it. We'll see you guys in the next video.